So let's start off with some liquid white. Now a couple of these canvases are experimental canvases, but I tried a new mixture of gesso and I quickly abandoned that because they, um, I think I had a little bit too much plaster in the gesso and, and it just really, 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 really dried fast. It didn't seem to matter much how much liquid clear I put on them or how much liquid white I put on them. It would dry before I could ever finish the painting. So I tried it on a couple of them. Now I've gone back and I've added another layer of gesso over the top of that. Try to slow that down. So, yeah, you gotta try things, learn things. Now, you guys may have seen me use this liquid white in my previous paintings. Actually, as a top final highlight. This, this liquid white isn't brand new, the can is brand new, so it's very, hasn't had time for any of the medium to, to uh, dry up, so it, it's nice and slick, it's super slick. Yeah, that's a little too slick. So, I'll tell you what we're going to do though. I'm going to clean the brush here real quick. Then we'll take a shop towel. This shop towel. Probably you should use a cleaner one, but that's okay. This will work. Just fold it over. I'm going to wipe this back just a little bit. To be too slick and a paint won't stick. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Should be enough of that. Let's start off with some. Hmm. Start off with Start off with some Prussian blue, I guess. Just trying to decide what color I wanted the sky to be. So let's try this. So we use a one inch brush, start off with a one inch brush. Start in the corner. I kind of went back to the corner again because when I, as soon as I uh, 
redid the brush because I wanted to get a dark setup set up in the corner. Alright, let's clean the brush. Now, you're going to see me probably several times. So I'm painting this. I'm going to stop and I'm going to look at the brush. And what I'm looking at is how much, how much paint is still left in the brush. Mostly because I want to know from the aspect of how much liquid white is still wet on the canvas on this new test canvas. So, all right, let's pick up a little bit more Persian blue. Let's put some water in here, say. exactly where this water is going to go or what it's going to be but we'll just have this little reminder down here that there's supposed to be some water down here dude there's supposed to be some water down here let's just take it all the way up we can decide from there we get it up there Clean the brush. Just take any loose, loose paint out. Now we're going to use the just the edge of this brush, just about like this. We're going to take the edge and touch it, and we're going to go just about like that. Just use the edge of the corner of this brush to blend this. Rotator cuffs are torn, so you know when I switch hands, all I'm really doing is kind of shifting the burden from one to the other. And you can see now this left some left some motion in the sky. That's exactly what I wanted. All right, two hairs and some air. And that final sweat. Now you could at this point take a towel and rub that down again and remove a lot of any excess paint. I don't think I have a lot of excess paint on here, so we're not going to worry about it too much. Let's put a couple little doodads in the sky. Let's get some titanium white. Got a lot of different brands of paint in this setup. So far, we've used some Grumbacher Academy and some Winton. That's a Bob Ross paint. Bob Ross paint. Okay. So I'm just going to use a filbert. <coughs> I just rehabbed this filbert. And this one, you can see that they're very, they're so soft. This one too. All right. We're just going to kind of follow the suggestions along this area here. Thank you. 
And we're just using kind of a tap, 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 tapping motion. Not picking up much paint off the canvas, so that's good. So you can see now we've got a little bit of blue paint on there. Not enough to have to clean the brush, of course, but we'll just kind of wipe that off, wipe the brush off and pick up some more paint. this paint out. I think it's probably enough of those. All right, we're going to clean the brush. We should clean it twice because we got quite, we had quite a bit of paint in there. All right, now let's see. Let's get. bit of mountain mixture but let's use it kind of sp sparingly. I don't know if sparingly is the right word but so if you don't have mountain mixture you can use mix of glycerin crimson uh, Prussian blue and uh, Payne's not paints gray. Um, I'll come up with a second. Van Dyke Brown to uh, to create those, create that color. But I'm going to take that. And I'm going to mix it with some back to a filbert. Mix it with some white because I want these mountain, this set of mountains to be kind of really light colored. So going to be way back off in the distance. All right, let's see how this looks.
I'm kind of blending this as I go. Well, maybe before I get too far along with that, let's get, get my bigger filbert back up again with some white. I just want to add some fog back in here. Some of that we may paint. We may paint over later on in the painting. I don't know. We'll see. Mostly we're, we're kind of scrubbing this paint in, we're bringing it up, we're moving it around, bringing it up to the canvas and, and then kind of laying in the layers where we want them to go, darkening and lightening here and there.
Okay. Let's clean that brush. I don't want to get too many brushes going at one time. Or I'll be ending up messing up a brush because I forgot to clean it. All right, it's got us a pretty good little start going here. Okay, let's see. Let's It's going to just create a little bit of a sketch here. What we got here? Oh no, that's too bright. I'm gonna pick up some sap green, and probably a yellow or two. We're not going to start adding this too fast, but we are going to add it. So let's put a little bit of... Uh, Indian yellow on the palette. This is Gamblin 1980. And let's go... With a little bit of this... Eh, I don't know. This is not really the color I'm looking for. Um, let's see about this. This looks pretty good. don't exactly know what value of yellow this is because it's covered up, but it'll do, I think. Let's find out. All right, I want to kind of sketch this in a little bit, this landscape. So let's get, let's start off with just the yellow. Because we're going to add the yellow to this here. I'm getting a little bit of, of that green in there because we're mixing it with this blue, but... Okay. Okay. So I might be like, what are you doing? I'm just adding some shadows here where 
that, that that'll line up with this yellow. Now we're ending, adding a little bit of the Indian yellow. Let's add a, little, a few tree shapes and stuff. So let's do that. And when you add these, be sure you kind of keep your brush level. Okay. So we got a few trees there. A little bit of conflicting stuff. So let's put some shoreline in. I'm going to do that with a little bit of sienna and a little bit of this yellow that we're using. And let's see, let's do that with a knife. We'll come back and highlight this in a second. Put this down a couple different ways, do however you want, but keep your knife straight and then kind of work it in. I'm not too worried about this right here because we're going to pull some of this down. 
can put some color in the water to contrast. Get on this knife. Oh, some linseed soap. All right. Now, before we, I'm trying to highlight that. Let's pull some of that down. So we'll use we'll use a one-inch brush. And go right up on the paint. Push it down, and then pull it. Now some of this I'll highlight over, over the color. And hopefully already you can see we're going to add some more trees and stuff to this too. So. So now we've kind of set some things in here. So let me kind of tell you what I see and you see if you see. You see here where the shadow is lighter, right? And so it appears the shore is pushed back farther, back this way. We've got a little bit of an out, an out cropping right there, and this is where we're going to have the waterfall fall in. So we're going to, we want to add a little bit more to those trees, though. So we're going to add some white. And I think I'll just use a shade of yellow here. Let's just kind of To the filbert. I don't think I'll probably clean it. I'll just use. I'm going to a darker color, so it doesn't really need to be cleaned. Just, just sketching the shoreline a little more in detail.
All right, let's add the order lines, then we'll start moving forward some more. Let's just get a bead of paint on here. And kind of push it in, keeping your knife straight. I think it'll affect it. Let's try this. Now, I know people like to use a lot of um, of um, tall, fall, waterfalls, but I, I don't really like them. Well, sometimes I do. I guess today I just don't. <laughs> some white. I'm going to load this brush up pretty good to lay this over the top of this blue. Now see I picked up a lot of blue off of that so I have to clean this brush each time. I'm not going to go to a lot of trouble to wipe out all of the paint because Oh, this is hard. Can't get an angle on it. So let's cut this about, uh, let's see, I'll tell you what, down there at the bottom, the base of the waterfall. Let's put some, let's put some rocks down there before we move forward. So again, we'll go to the filbert and clean this filbert out that I've got. bigger than what I want to use for this part. So let's get, let's go to this smaller filbert. What is this? I don't know. Number four. And we will put brown on one side. And white on the other side. exactly what I was hoping for. I was clean the brush. I'm gonna try a little bit of extra stuff here. See. Alright, that's okay. Yeah, I want some of this blue. This blue to Come out 
of that area. That away, we're gonna get the one inch brush out because we're gonna do some adding of blues and some blending here. So, might have told you like always pull it from the edge and I did initially if you saw that like this but you can do it to the middle as long as you blend it well I'm gonna hit that well I'm just gonna do this and it won't matter where I put the land I don't know why I suddenly decided to do this like a sailboat in here, but that's okay.
exactly where this is going to go here in a second, but we'll figure it out. I just have an idea. We'll see if this will work. Today, I just don't feel like putting like a piece of land on that side, a piece of land on that side, throwing up a couple of trees and calling it quits. But So I'm going to put this up here for now. Darken this in. Now, you will notice that this boat's sitting right on about a third, about a third way across the canvas. Maybe not quite. Maybe the tip of it. But I'm just trying to give it a little bit of focus. I'll clean this other brush, and then we'll... Let's just keep this brush out. All right, pick it up with some blue and kind of probably should have done that with a fan brush, but but I didn't so. I need a little bit more white here. Yeah.
Okay, now I think with that there, I think we can we can do a lot with this. Just by doing like an engineer. But then let's just do use the fan brush. Let's just take Pull this wave up to make it a little bit smaller. And I think with that, what do I have to do with that? Let me see though, right? Alright guys, I hope you like this one. It's fairly straightforward. Just want to throw something together today. Mostly try out this canvas fix that I put in. So anyway, it's kind of fun to do. I've got about nine more paintings to do before the end of the year. So I need to get on with it because it's it'll be uh, December tomorrow. So hope you guys are having a good 
holiday season. So hopefully the finale of 2020 will be gentler to us than the rest of the year has been. <laughs> and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.